Right, NZ, tell us what's on the plans for this week. All right, so it's five weeks out of the WBFF Pro Show. This will be my third Pro Show. It is going to be a big week. Today we have a photo shoot. Well, I have a photo shoot with Ash Jackson, one of my good friends and photographers. Then I have a training session with Demi, two PT sessions with Laura. Um, she's going to kick my ass. I have a check-in on Friday, which is going to be interesting with Anne-Marie. And that's about it. It's going to be a good week. I'm feeling a bit flat today, but... Once I get going, I'm going to be fine. All part of the process, isn't All it? All part of the process. When people are like, oh, you're getting lean, you want to show it off. This is what I wear. Majority of the time. It even has just stuff on it. Hot. Hot. Pre-workout goodness. Some rice cakes with honey. And this is what he does every time. Bro. It is Wednesday and it's like five weeks out. This week my calories have been cut so I'm feeling a little bit tired, very sore. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just getting through the days at the moment. I feel like, as I said, I struggle at this point and then it, I kind of cruise in after this. So, should be right. Should be right. But we're going to train with Demi today and we're going to do legs. So, that'll be sweet. Doing some warm up now. I like to make sure that my glutes are very warm before doing any exercise, like any exercises. So I have three leg sessions, two upper body, and like one chest and shoulder day. Goal, you know, one, one rest day, all of the cardio. There's a bit of a twist on the normal one. Laura told me this one as well. Speed up. Good. Five. Go to like here, so go back to there. Up. Four. Three. Two. It's all happening here. What I do with the chicken at the moment, I usually put taco season in on, but we're just gonna do a little bit of lemon. I think that was a little too much. And pepper. So I've got pumpkin boiling here, sweet potato, that one. And I'll put these all into big containers and then just pop it in the fridge and then my food's ready to go whenever I want. Well, I'm off to get brutalized by my deep remedial massage, dude. Ola, he is a piece of work. Things you have to do in prep, look after yourself because you'll end up being sore and run down and tired and you won't be useful to anyone. So this prep has been particularly difficult on Ted. Decreased walk times. He's struggling, he's really struggling. It's dinner time in the um, King O'Reilly home. So Maddie's got some avocado with some steak. I have a cucumber to snack on. And here's some chicken. So this is how we do our chicken up during the week. Just a big container of it. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of garlic. And then we'll put that in a container and dish it out later. And then I have some fishy and asparagus and mushrooms. So we like to keep things super simple. All right, so cardio time. In the morning, we are doing step this morning. I'm alternating between interval and then some steady state. So today is interval day, and tomorrow will be steady state. It's Friday, and I'm feeling it, but we got check ins today, so 
it'll be a good day. So I was gonna do a little clip on how important it is to keep your energy positive and stuff. And then I got home and I got so hungry and I honestly nearly stabbed Matt. And that's how prep goes. I honestly just, my mood just swapped. It's really important to know that, you know, the ups and downs are part of this whole thing. And I've been pushing it pretty hard. So I'm looking forward to two refeed days and just to rest. Back to my point, energy is such an important thing in prep. Just making sure that, you know, the people that you're around are supportive of your goals and that you're trying to be as positive as possible because as I always say like this is a this is a choice you know prep isn't something that people make you do it's something that you want to do because you want to challenge yourself also being aware that it has effects on your life on your relationships that's something to keep in mind as well sometimes it is hard to be in a relationship with someone that is prepping as well because we are both on edge and we're both hungry you know we both understand the pressures so we're just gonna spend like 15 minutes apart and then we'll be fine i am doing a check-in today with Anne Marie, so she's one of two coaches that i have so i have mark carroll and Anne Marie. um we kind of work as a team to make sure that i'm in like the best condition possible for this show um this being like one of my 14th or 15th show i've kind of found a way to work around um, diet and training that really works for my body and myself. So it's taken a long time, but I think I've got the right combination. Um, but basically today we're just gonna do a lot of posing and condition checks and she's gonna just give me like the thumbs up or tell me I need to pull my shit together. <laughs> what are you not pressing into? There you go, hello. Body fat analysis and it just gives me an indication I don't change the sites that I read. I read the same sites normally, and I normally will indicate at the start of the prep, did I pinch near a mole? Did I pinch near rosacea? Did I pinch near wherever? Just letting you know that this can't be zero. Zero is no skin, and this bitch is 0.5. <laughs> That's close. Yeah, that's close. I got a lean bicep. <laughs> I don't think people realize how much uh, like stress and your energy takes a hit during a prep. Like food has so much to do with how you are, how you interact with people, how your relationships are. So it's really important to be mindful that people going through prep are quite stressed and they sleep deprived. Yeah, it's it's a choice, and we can't complain about prep and how hard it is because we're putting ourselves through this. You know. People coming into their first comp need to be really aware that this is such a big challenge and it takes up so much of your time. And if you are like so adamant that you're gonna do well and try and win, it's gonna consume your lifestyle for at least six months. But it's not even that. People that are athletes and people that are pros, this is their entire lifestyle and it needs to be your lifestyle 24 seven. It can't just be something that you do 16 weeks of the year or eight weeks of the year because you're gonna fail, you know? If this is not your lifestyle, it's gonna be really hard and you're gonna hate it. For me and Matt especially, this is what we do 24 seven, day in, day out. We're training, we're eating well, we're prepping our food and like it, it doesn't, Stop. and sometimes it gets easier. Right now it's hard. <laughs> that's prep and that's why we love it. Also prepping any clients at this time? I actually do have four clients that are coming into this show, but outside of that I have a hundred plus gen pop clients that are just on weight loss journeys and they're just trying to get fit and stuff. So, you know, comp prep clients aren't 
a big majority of my client base. Um, they're very small, but I like to keep it like that because it's such a it's such a journey, you know. And lots of girls who start, lots of boys who start, don't finish. So if I have four girls coming to the show. I'm super excited because it's all their first time. So I love I love putting girls through their first comp because you know I can stop them doing the things that I did in my first comp. You know I can help them navigate through this in a, a much healthier way. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you've had a good time. Remember if you have any questions, please comment below, um, like, subscribe, follow, stay tuned.